Sorry, 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 I know. Oh, you made it. <laughs> Have you been waiting long? 20 minutes. Rightly. Hi there, Tom. Yeah, in fairness, 20 minutes isn't too bad for us. We still haven't mastered getting all four of us out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, do you need a hand getting the girls in their buggies? Oh, thanks. I'm all right. I don't expect the clocks going forward help very much. <laughs> no, not really. Well, what have you done with Jack? Oh, he's just over there. Yeah, scooting around by the ticket office. Ah, and, uh, oh, there's Henry. Will he be joining us this afternoon? You'll be surprised. Even with headphones on, he still manages to join in if he wants to. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Tom, do you want to bring the big brolly with us? I uh, don't think so. Looks like the weather's going to hold. Yeah, that's what the forecast said. I'll leave it in the car then. All right, love. Well, isn't this exciting? All of us out together. I know. It's ages since I've been to Netherbourne Hall. Oh, Jack's always begging to come, isn't he, Lee? Yeah. They opened this fantastic new woodland play area last summer. You said. Might have to have a go myself. <laughs> Well, this was a good call, Helen. Thanks. Well, I knew we wouldn't stand a chance once we opened for the Easter holidays. True. Hopefully we won't have time to visit anywhere because too many people will be visiting us. Oh, fingers crossed. Uh, speaking of which, I've printed and laminated the signs for the farm trail. Oh, right, OK. They're in the office, just need putting up. Sure. You know where they're going, don't you? Yeah, I know. They shouldn't be too easy to find, but then again, they can't be too difficult either. Helen, you hey, told me... What's this? Oh, it's just the farm trail, you know, the, the one Helen's designed. The kids have to find the clues as they go around. No, 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 what did we agree? No talking about work. Sorry. <laughs> Why didn't you stop them, It's Lee? impossible, they can't help themselves. No, you're right. This afternoon is a bridge farm free zone. Oh, Tom, can you lock the car? My keys are in the bottom of my bag somewhere. Yeah, sure. Oh, look at these two. <laughs> Hello, Nova. Hi, Sarah. I was hoping they might stay asleep. I didn't have a great night. Oh, they look like they might nod off again. We can hope. Right, are we ready? Yep, I think so. You're the one we're waiting for. Oh, I was, was I? <laughs> Henry, we're off. And don't let me hold you up any longer. Come on, let's go. Having a break? Hmm? Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> it's OK, you're allowed. You can't do much until Adam and Ian get back anyway. No, I suppose. Oh, is that the photo Debbie gave you? Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, you and Mum look so happy in it. It was sweet of her to get it framed. Oh, last summer's trip to Hungary seems like a long time ago now. <laughs> and to think the reason we went, because it was my health we were worried about. Yeah. And who came home early anyway? Who can bear to trust anyone else with the farm? Oh, I know. I'm glad your mother stayed, though. At least she and Debbie had that time together. Mm. Have you heard from her since yeah, she got back? Yeah, we spoke to each other last night. Oh, you did? So everything's all right between you now? After your argument last week, I, I mean, I, I was worried. Yes, Alice, yes, everything's fine. We, uh, well, we talked and we understand each other a lot better now. Oh, good. I'm pleased. Oh, that sounds like Adam and Ian. It's time to pack this picture in its box. I think everything that's left ought to fit in the van. All the big stuff's over at Blossom Hill already. Oh, yeah, I guess. Well, let's get on with it, then. One more load and we'll have the cottage cleared. I thought you were having me on at first, didn't I, Lee? Yeah, you did. I only believed it when he showed me the video. The whole thing's just bizarre. Jim sat in what looks like a very nice bedroom, going on about how Brookfield were complicit in allowing the charging station to be built. I know. To be honest, all it did was make me want to stay at their B&B. <laughs> Natasha. That's true. <laughs> OK, so you don't think Ambridge is the right place for a charging station. It doesn't mean you get to hole yourself up in someone's home. Jim did pay for the room, didn't he? Yeah, but still, it's a bit much. <laughs> you know he's taken the video down since, don't you? I know. I guess someone must have made him see sense. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't think they were ever going to download. Ooh, these are the photos. Yeah, yeah, just have a look at those. Oh. Oh, are they fantastic? Oh, Lee, can you see? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, their eyes, they're, they're incredible. I know. The photographer used one of those circular halo lights. Oh. That's what gives the reflection. <sighs> wow. You two are proper little stars now, aren't you? <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> it's only a small job. 
Unless you're in the market for fair trade cotton baby grows, you're not <laughs> likely to see it. Although... Although what? Uh, should we tell them about the offer we got on Friday? Oh, yes. It was for an advertising campaign for Schaefer Bass. What? As in the chemical company Schaefer Bass? Yeah. Who? Oh, you must have heard of them, Lee. They're multinational. They've got their fingers in everything. Well, this is for their personal care and hygiene division. Guess they're trying to improve their image, look more wholesome. And it's not just for the UK either. It's a global campaign, corporates and online. But you're not thinking of doing it, are you? Oh, don't be daft. Can you imagine? Our two daughters advertising for a firm that makes some of the most environmentally controversial agrochemicals. <laughs> I don't think so. Good. If you were, well, wouldn't just be me you'd have your guts for garters. I think Mum and Dad's heads would explode. <laughs> you're telling me. How much were they offering? Oh, we don't know. It was just an initial approach from our agent. And Nell knows we run an organic farm. She's probably already expecting a no. Uh, quite right. And it's not as if we planned any of this. We didn't set out for the girls to be child models. No. If it means we save a bit of money for their future, then that's great. But if not, then that's fine. It's days like today that really matter. Being all together. Absolutely. I mean, even these pictures, they're lovely. But compared to the smiles we get sometimes, or a, a giggle, I don't think I really got it until becoming a parent, but every second with your kids, nothing beats it. Oh, listen to you, you big softy. <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, check on Jack. Uh, Lee? He's all right, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's playing on the rope bridge. Oh, I'll just go and make sure. Uh, all right. Helen, is everything OK? <sighs> Lee's feeling a bit sensitive. It's not your fault. Sensitive? Oh, gosh, of course. Mm. His girls only moved to California last week. Dad, what about this box here? Uh, yes, that's going to. Well, I thought you were giving Mum's old recipe books to charity. Well, the ones you lot didn't want, yes, but I decided I'd keep a few. Oh, OK. So, how are we looking? Well, we're done, I think. You sure? Yeah, well, I've turned the heating off. Mm. Taken the meter readings, made sure the windows are all locked. This is it then? This is it. It was kind of Roy and Kirsty to come round with a present. Mm. They've been good neighbours, especially recently. Yeah, they have. Although I won't miss sharing a wall. <laughs> I mean, not with Roy and Kirsty specifically. <laughs> no, I know. I just mean with anyone. One needs to share a taste in music to do that. There must be some things about Willow Cottage that you'll miss. Such as? Dad. Right. Well, this place, I mean, it was only ever meant to be a stopgap. Roof over our heads while we look for somewhere better. Somewhere your mother would be happy. Where we'd be content to spend our golden years. Mm -hmm. We never found it. But Mum was happy here. And I know it wasn't easy, having me living with you. I, I know it can't have seemed like I appreciated it at the Alice, time. Yeah, but knowing I had somewhere safe, where I'd be looked after, and not be alone with my demons, it, it saved me, Dad. That and going to the clinic. I've seen this place empty now. It feels strange. Well, maybe all that's better in the past. No point holding on to unhappy memories. Oh, no, all right. We've still I... got the unpacking to do once we get to Blossom Hill. What are we waiting for? Time to go. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. It should have occurred to me. Why would it, though? We were talking about modelling. I still should have remembered. I hope I haven't hurt his feelings. Shh, here he comes now. Hmm? Oh, Lee. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Helen's taking over. Jack wants to show his master the monkey bars. Oh, they are pretty <laughs> epic. I can see why he likes this place. <laughs> I suspect it's somewhere we'll be getting very familiar with in the years to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, Lee, um, I'm really sorry for going on about Nova and Seren. When you're... Uh, I didn't think. Uh, it's OK. No, but... Oh, I... really, Tom. Time with your kids is precious. I wish I'd had more of it, even before my two moved away. Have you heard from them since they got to San Francisco? Oh, yeah, yeah. They video called me the other night. Gave me a tour of their new house. It looks amazing. A steep street outside, just like in the films. Right. <laughs> they love it. Well, it's a big adventure for them. It doesn't mean it's not hard for you, though. No. And we do understand. 
just because I put my foot in my mouth sometimes. It's not because we don't get how tough it must be. No, I know. Take it from me. It doesn't matter how far away Mabel and Evie are, they're always going to need their dad. Oh, thank you. Both of you. That means a lot. Well, stay if you like, Jack, but then you won't get a hot cross bun. Oh, did someone say hot cross bun? Oh, did you hear that? Lee says he wants one. Yeah, sometimes bribery is the only way. <laughs> so how are we doing? Good. Good. Well, just want Lee to know he's got us. He's got family around him. Yeah, of course he has. So... Are we going to the cafe then? If that's okay with everyone else. Sure. Absolutely. I could do with a nice hot cuppa. Jack! Henry! Uh, I'll go and get the buggy. About the modelling job, I think I'll drop now that email. First thing. This way, guys. <laughs> Last one to the cafe's a rotten egg. Thanks for all your help. Bye. Are Adam and Ian going? Uh, yes, they need to pick up Xander from Lillian's. Oh. Well, here we are, then. It feels so much bigger than Willow Cottage. Doesn't it just? So it's just the two of us. I thought Kate might stay a bit longer. Did you really? <laughs> well, still, at least you know not to hang the mirror opposite the front door now. I mean, <laughs> you wouldn't want any positive chi that comes over the threshold to be reflected back outside. No, indeed. <laughs> Look, why don't I dig out the kettle? I reckon we deserve a cuppa. Oh, uh... Do you know which box the tea bags are in? Uh, no, I don't. And, and anyway, I'm not that thirsty. Oh, come on. Let's have five minutes. Alice, honestly... Then we can crack on with the unpacking. No, no, no. You should go home as well. No, don't be silly, Dad. I, I don't need to pick up Martha for another couple of hours. Yeah, even so. Look, I can I don't help. need any help. I'd much rather do it by myself. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't No, to no, it's fine. It's just been such a long day. It's not as there's any rush to get settled in. No, no, of course. I just thought you might like some company. If that's what you'd prefer, though. Thank you, Alice. Right. Well, then, I'll leave you to it. If you need anything, though... Yes, OK. Like help setting up the Wi-Fi or the telly... It'll be fine. OK, then. Main thing is, I'm here. I've moved. It's a new start for all of us. But don't worry about me, darling. I'll be all right on my own. So, whose house are you planning to squat in today? Afternoon, Justin. Of the local B&Bs, I can highly recommend Ambridge Hall. I appreciate your advice, but I'm not planning to stage any more sit-ins. Well, thank heavens for that. I did try to tell you it wasn't fair to harass Brookfield. I wasn't harassing them. I was protesting. And I was never less than polite. Polite? You invaded their home. What on earth was going through your mind? Are you familiar with Satyagraha? Oh, Satya what? Truth force. Mm. It's the philosophy of non-violent resistance that Gandhi employed in the fight for Indian independence. Yes, yes, yes. My idea was to synthesize it with the extraordinary communicative power of today's social media. Uh, fine, but it didn't work. Well, no, that's mm. true. As someone immersed in the online world, Chelsea helped me to understand that if I want to stop the charging station being built, my expertise lies elsewhere. And where's that? Um, I have some ideas. Oh, yes. Uh, maybe you'd like to run them past me. As I said, I was right before. Aren't you meant to be working in the shop this afternoon? That's where I'm heading. Well, it's two o'clock now. You should go inside. It won't matter if I'm a couple of minutes late. No, no, no. Come on, uh, tell me. Punctuality is the politeness of kings, Justin. I'll let you get on. Well, in that case, I'll expect you to leave me promptly at five. Perhaps we can continue this conversation then. Well, you're looking very smart, Oliver, I must say. Thank you, Elizabeth. Burgundy's good on you. It's definitely your colour. Well, that's a relief. After the induction course Freddie put us all through, it would be a shame if the volunteer blazer didn't suit. <laughs> oh, it does, very much. On behalf of Lower Loxley, it's a pleasure to have you on board. I'm delighted. It's perfect timing, too, with Easter on the horizon. Are you helping over the bank holiday weekend? Yes, I am. I'm on the Rosa. Um, oh, great. We'll be doing all the usual stuff. Freddie's organising another egg-rolling event. Sounds marvellous. Now, about the Rosa... Oh, and then there's the exhibition in the gallery, too, for the upcoming coronation. King and County, 50 years of royal visits to Borsetshire. I've seen the poster. It looks great. Are you doing a shift in the gallery? No. 
Sadly not. Oh, that's a shame. Well, you must pop in, though. Yes, I will. That's if Freddy ever allows me out of the scullery. I beg your pardon? That's where he's put me for the next month. There and the butler's pantry. Oh, I see. I do realise, of course, being a room guide, some places will be more invigorating than others. I had assumed we'd be moved around, though. Oh, yes, well... Especially as Freddie had us to learn the history of the entire house. Oh, afternoon. I'm so sorry I'm late. I couldn't get away from work. Not great for my first shift, eh? Oh, don't worry. I was just saying to Oliver, I'm incredibly grateful to you for giving up your time. Oh, of course, but... Uh... Now, any questions about the rotor, it's Freddie you really should speak to. Oh, very well. You all right, Oliver? Yes, yes, fine. Huh? Where are you off to? Main entrance. Uh, I'm in charge of looking after buggies and backpacks. Anything people need to leave before looking around the house. Mm. Well, that might be even less scintillating than my job. I was very disappointed to see there are no protests going on today. Oh, don't you start. It's a shame. I was hoping to see another banner hanging from the windows. Uh, not today, I'm afraid. Or ever again. I'm sorry. What for? Well, if you hadn't had to sell the land to pay for the solar panels, oh. none of this would have happened. No, no, but, you know, what's done is done. Do you want a tea while you wait for Mum? She's just over with the hens. No, no, no. Don't let me hold you up. Well, I was about to take magnesium supplement out to the cows, but I've got a few minutes. Have you seen Brian? Brian, no. I dropped a new home card round to Blossom Hill Cottage earlier, but he wasn't in. Oh, well done. You're more on the ball than us. Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure it was appropriate. It's not exactly a happy move. Well, still thoughtful. We should do the same, if I could just find a spare minute. How are things? How's lambing? Easing off, thank goodness. And no more dog attacks, either. Well, that's good. <laughs> what about you? How are things at the pile? Oh, things at the pile are fine. You're getting used to not having Lily at home. Well, that's just it. I've not really had the chance. She's still around so often. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, she seems to have settled in at the stables, and she tells me she's enjoying her course. But you're not so sure. Mm, I just can't help feeling she'd be getting more out of uni if she lived in Felpersham. She didn't really get to enjoy student life when she went before. Oh, tell me I'm seeing things. What? Coming up to the house. It's Jim. Oh. What the hell does he want now? Psst, Neil. Oh, Oliver. You busy? No, no, I'm just minding this stroller. Ah, uh, me neither. Haven't seen anyone in the scullery for over half an hour. Uh, well, at least you've got mobile reception. Well, it'll be George again. I'm helping him with the research project he's doing for college. Pig biosecurity. Well, it's good that he's keen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been a bit worried about him, to be honest. Well, you know how... Young lads are, but this seems to have really sparked his interest. Just give us a sec, will you? I must say, this isn't what I expected when I signed up to be a guide. I agree, we have to start somewhere. But Freddy can't just give all the plum jobs to the experienced volunteers. Have you looked at the rotor? Hmm? The rotor. Oh. Clifford, for instance. Freddy's put him in the long gallery. He and Diane are even doing a tour for a group from Abbotton Wood. Abbotton Wood? Where's that? Oh, it's that retirement village, isn't it? On the way into Felbersham? Oh, right, yeah. Even if they bring them down to the scullery on Wednesday, no doubt Diane and Cliff will do all the talking. Oh, so you're in on Wednesday, too, eh? I am. Oh, so am I. Uh, there. A scent. <laughs> I just don't know what Fred is thinking. Mm -hmm. The only reason any of us volunteer is because we enjoy interacting with people, talking about history. And it's hardly as though we did badly in our final assessment. <laughs> Freddie knows we're capable. Well, you'd think. Uh, then again, I'm not sure we're quite the new recruits he was hoping for. Really? You know, I reckon he was hoping for younger blood. <laughs> Especially with some of the mutterings from the old guard about that painting. Ah, uh, yes. heard At least one of them say they'll resign if the trustees agree to take it down. Oh, it's ridiculous. I don't mind in the sign explaining about the slave ship. But to remove such a magnificent portrait altogether, well, it's just getting rid of history you don't like. Mm. Well, that's not how some of these youngsters see it. <laughs> and you honestly believe that's why Freddy consigned us to where we are? Well, maybe. I don't know. Well, in that case, 
We need to demonstrate that we more mature people still have a few tricks up our sleeve. Oi, have you got something in mind? Oh, Jim, really, that's not necessary. Nonsense. It's the least I can do. Well, I didn't behave well last week either. That's beside the point. And you left the B&B a very nice review. David, let Jim finish what he came to say. Yes, OK. Whatever the political or philosophical justification, it was a mistake to impose myself on you in the manner I did. Since then, various people, Alistair included, have made me see it was neither the act of a friend nor a neighbour. Jim. Which is why I'm inviting you to make up a team at the pub quiz on Thursday. Your brother's serving as question master, so I'm free to join you. Oh. Uh, and I don't want you reaching into your pocket either. The drinks are on me. Oh, no, I couldn't. Jim's offering you an olive branch, David. How can you possibly say no? Look, it's very kind of you. I'm, I'm just worried there won't be enough of us. Ruth's out with Stella that night. Where? Cinema, I think. And I know Ben's working evenings this week. And what about Jill? Yes, Mum must be around. Well, she sometimes goes to Leonard's. Or Pip? Well, that depends if she can find someone to babysit. But you can come. Well, I suppose, but a team of two isn't likely to fare very well. You'd have Jim. That's like having one extra brain, at least. No, I know. You should go. It'll be fun. Well, then why don't you come, too? Hmm? Good idea. Three's plenty, and with Jim's extra brain as well. All right, but... Perfect. Uh, I'll see you both on Thursday evening, then. Uh... And uh, if you do find anyone else's... Free to come. Yep, I'll, I'll ask. Although, now we've got Elizabeth on our team, I reckon we'll be fine. Excellent. Well, goodbye, then. Bye. David. What? I've already been lumbered with Jim once this week. Now, you can enjoy the pleasure of his company, too. How on earth did you manage that? I must admit, I thought it would require a little more persuasion. So... Cliff doesn't mind replacing you in the scullery. He seemed delighted. I suppose when you've been guiding for as long as he has, a few hours away from the hurly-burly of the main house comes as a welcome respite. Yeah, well, I suppose. Yeah. The bottom line is, you and I will be taking the Abbotton Wood tour on Wednesday. We both will. I asked Diane to swap with you as well. But... but That's all right, uh, isn't it? Uh, I thought you agreed we deserve to be given more to do. Oh, I do, yeah, but... Given an entire tour, uh, I was thinking more of being a guide in one of the main rooms. We've got to do a tour at some point, and this will be a nice group of friendly pensioners on a day trip out. It's the ideal way to begin. Well, yeah, maybe. And it'll show Freddy there's no reason not to give us the more rewarding roles. Otherwise, why are we even doing it? Well, when you put it like that, yeah. I guess it's worth a shot. Good man. It's got to be minding buggies and rucksacks, anyhow. Ah, just in the nick of time. Well, it's not five yet, is it? No, it's one minute two. And I thought I'd have to chastise you for not being punctual. Sorry to disappoint. You could finish early if you like. No, 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 no. It's still my shift for another 50 seconds. Oh, um, what have you been up to since I saw you? Formulated any more cunning schemes? Actually, I've been building bridges. Oh, really? Tell me more. Why are you so interested? Oh, just curious, that's all. After last week's extraordinary exploits, I'm fascinated to learn what you have in mind next. I'm afraid you may be disappointed again. Why? You're not giving up? Heavens no. I'm simply going to focus my efforts on what I do best. A targeted campaign opposing the charging station, based upon thorough research and facts. I've already approached a local architect to advise on planning regs, and Usha's asking one of her colleagues if he'll assist with legal issues on a pro bono basis. I see. My cunning scheme, as you put it, is to assemble a crack team of experts to challenge every detail of the application. At the very least, it might delay things. Yes, it might. And who knows? If we put up enough obstacles, the developers may decide to throw in the towel before it even reaches the planning committee. So, what do you make of that? Oh, I think it sounds like a much more formidable plan. Do you now? I do. 
I'm sure when the developers get wind of it, they'll be quaking in their boots. What could go wrong? Freddie had us each present a section of the tour for our assessment. Fine, if you say so. I admit he might be a little miffed when he discovers we've amended the rotor. If it proves our point, though, what matters is that Neil and I will demonstrate we can put on a good show. All right, Oliver. Oh, hello, Will. Well, what are you doing here? I thought you were inside, cramming for your big talk. Ah, although you can outweigh the texels if you like. No, no, uh, Will's quite right. I do need to get back. Don't want any tricky questions catching me out. Uh, good luck with it. So, how do you want to do this? Uh, it's probably best if you put the lamb through the scale and I'll write the weights down. They go into the flop performance record? Oh, uh, yeah. OK. We're weaning them too, so after they've been weighed, they need to be separated from the ewes. Got you. All right. In you go. Oh, I've just had Mum on at me again about letting George have an 18th birthday party. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, it's weird. Must be the third time she's brought it up. I thought she agreed there was no way we were going to let a bunch of teenagers loose on the farm. Uh, wait, just a sec. Uh, 24.36 kilos. Um... All good? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Now, Susan's been doing the same to me and Emma. What? Really? Going on about how George is a lot more responsible these days. <laughs> what, she said that? How he's going to be an adult. We ought to trust him to behave like one. Yeah, that's what Mum said too. She did? Yeah, stuff about this being George's home and how it ain't fair not to let him have his friends here. I mean, she even mentioned how we were allowed parties. Parties when we, when we were lads. Yeah. I mean, you had a massive one for your 18th. And Susan made that point and all. Almost word for word. What do you reckon the odds are that that's just a coincidence? I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> no, me neither. But in which case... Someone's been coaching them. I wonder who. Tom, are you in there? Oh, hey, love. Perfect timing. Chuck us a packet of sausages, will you? Pork and apple. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm running so behind. Will's due here in less than an hour, and so far I've only got half the boxes packed. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Uh, this morning's meeting took ages. Helen and Adam wouldn't stop talking about next Monday's grand opening. It's funny you should mention that. Why? Have they been on it, you too? No. They will. They're desperate to pin down what time everything's happening. You're doing your juice tastings in the shop. I've got my tour of the polytunnels. Yeah, I know. And then there's Helen's dairy demo, and Adam's giving a talk about how permaculture and the Amazon inspired the Edible Forest Garden. Sure. I get it. We don't want to clash. We still don't need to decide the schedule today. No. Right there. One more done. Tom. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, and, and then just when I thought I could get on, Justin collars me on the way to the farm shop. Wanted to know if we support the EV charging station. Yeah, as if I've got time to speculate about that. I do need to talk to you, though. Yeah, sorry. It, it was just the last thing I needed, I you know? know. Uh, oh, and then to top it all off, pigeons have had a go at the brassicas. Would you listen? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. Thanks. I've just had Nell on the phone about the Schaefer Bass job. I thought you emailed her yesterday. I did, but she wanted to talk it through. What for? She must know we were never going to let the girls model for an agrochemical firm. You did make that clear. Yes. But then she explained exactly what we might be giving up. Giving up? Financially. Tom, I think we should take the job. George. Oh, hi, Oliver. Come in, come in. You're back from college early. Uh, I didn't have any more classes. So you thought you'd carry on studying at home? Sure. Something like that. Yeah, same here. Just making sure I've remembered all my lower Loxley facts. Cassis tutissima virtus. <laughs> you are. It's the Pargeta family motto. Virtue is the safest helmet. Sound advice, too. If you say so. Have fun. No, George, uh, wait, hold on. Uh, Neil was telling me yesterday about the research project you're doing. Pig biosecurity, isn't it? That's right. He said you chose the topic yourself. Well, I figured it was easiest. What with Grandad being a pig man and doing work experience at the unit. Well, it can't only be because it's convenient. Neil says you're very keen. It's kind of interesting, I suppose. Well, tell me more. Well, there are so many pathogens out there. You've got E. coli and Salmonella, 
that mainly comes from birds. And there's biosecure fencing to protect from TB and badgers. Yes, yes, of course. And ASF, African swine fever, that's seriously bad. It started in Kenya, but it's everywhere now. Germany, Greece, Italy, Poland. Indeed, indeed. And if you get it, it's deadly. You can lose your whole herd. That's why you've got to be proper strict with your precautions. I can imagine. Go on. You can see why I couldn't just turn it down. No, I can. We always said we were doing this to give the girls a nest egg. Well, there's the nest egg right there. Until Nell explained, I hadn't realised exactly how much a worldwide buyout would be. We can't, though, can we? It's against everything we believe. Yeah, and I'm not comfortable with it either. Think about all the fertilisers and pesticides Schaefer Bass produce. I know that, Tom. But the job isn't for the agrochemical division. It's for skin cream and nappies. Even we're not against disposable nappies. Th that's not the point. It's still the same brand. We'd be saying we like what they do. Would we? Of course we would. That's why it's called a promotional campaign. Yes, but it's not like a personal endorsement. They just need a couple of pretty babies for their ad. <sighs> All right, Tom. I said I don't like it either. But if we don't take the job, someone else will. Turning it down won't change anything. No, I know. In fact, the only people that'll make any difference to us are Serena and Nova. But not necessarily. What do you mean? Well, what if anyone found out? Can you imagine the publicity? Organic farm pockets agrochemical cash. Oh, come on. Aren't you being a bit overdramatic? I don't think so. And anyway, it's a corporate campaign. The ad's not going to be shown between Emmerdale and Corey. But didn't they say the deal is in perpetuity? Yes. So it's always going to be out there. What isn't these days? Sarah and Anova are only babies. If anyone thinks they recognise them, we'll just say it's not them. Sounds like you've made your mind up already. I... I just don't see how we can turn down that kind of money. When I left home, all I had was student debts. Yeah, but it won't be like that for Selen and Nova. We hope not. The businesses are doing okay now. They are? But we don't know what's going to happen. We take that money, put it into a bond or whatever, and the girls are always going to have something to start out with. What kind of parents would we be to say no to that? Yes, all right. This isn't about how we feel, Tom. It's about what's best for them. OK, A okay. job this lucrative might not come their way again. Fine, I get it. You do? So what, you agree now? Uh, no, I don't know. Nell needs to give them an answer. Uh, Natasha, I said I don't know. I need to think, please. Just give me a little time. Grandma's always moaning about how we ain't allowed to feed the pigs food waste no more. What she don't understand is ASF can survive in food for months. It's why the staff at Barrow are banned from bringing pork products in to eat. So do you want to follow in your granddad's footsteps then? Work with pigs? Uh, maybe. Don't reckon I'd want to work for a company like Borchester Land, mind. I want to be in charge. Good for you. It's one of the options I'm doing at college at the moment. Developing a land-based enterprise. We have to do market research. Uh, come up with a credible start-up plan. Really? Yeah, it's cool. Well, it's not long until you finish college. You'll be an adult very soon. <laughs> Week on Friday. Only ten days to go. Um, Oliver, hmm? you know how this is your place and all? Yeah. So, really, it's up to you what's allowed to go on. Well, I'm not sure I'd say that. <laughs> yeah, but, but you've got the final decision. Mum and Dad keep saying no, but I reckon I should be allowed to have a birthday party here on the farm. D don't you? Oh. Don't answer that, Oliver. Uh, yours ain't the only well, arm he's been twisting. Uh, what, what are you doing? Were you listening? We know what you're up to, George. Getting your grandmothers to do your dirty work for you. What, what are you on about? Oh, don't deny it. You talked them into persuading us to let you have a party. Is that what you've been doing? No, I didn't talk them into anything. They agreed because I taught them how to deal with the public over at Bridge Farm. Well, it's still a no, I'm afraid. Mm. But, Dad, We've I... been talking about it, though, haven't we, Ed? Yeah, we have. And we've come up with something else you might like. Got the boxes packed in time, then? Uh, yeah, van's all loaded. Now we just need to hope they actually match what the customer's ordered. I'm sure they will do. Well done. Uh, Tar. Uh, listen, um, I'm sorry about earlier. Oh, it's fine. Uh, you're right. We should take the job. It's just... Hard, I know. 
But for the sake of the girls, though, we'd be mad to turn our noses up at that sort of money. Although there is one more problem. Oh, yeah? What's that? The video shoot's on Monday. Oh, you're joking. I suppose I could try to take the girls on my own. At least then you'd be here for the bridge farm opening. <sighs> It'll be tough, though. This is a much bigger deal than the last job they did. And if one of them's having a bad day... No, no. It'd be too much for one of us. We both need to go. So, what do we tell everyone else? Well, we certainly can't tell them the truth. You heard what Helen said. They'd hit the roof. Then I guess we just tell them it's a different modelling job. Yeah, yeah, another big one. One that we couldn't afford to turn down. Yeah. Good afternoon. Oh, it's well afternoon. Even then, they're not going to be happy with us bailing on them. Uh, you all right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, all good. How are you getting on? Lamb's all weighed. Uh, weighed and weaned. It's taking down the hurdles. Good, good. Have you uh, time for a quick word? It's concerning George's birthday. Well, Oliver, we've been telling him for weeks he can't have a party. No, no. He seemed happy enough with the offer of being chauffeured into town in Dad's limo, though. His mates are going to be well impressed with that. No, it's not to do with the party. An idea has occurred to me, and I wanted to get your thoughts on it before putting it to Emma and Will. Right. OK. Well, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn when I say George can be somewhat wayward. <laughs> you mean he's a cheeky beggar? Yes, well, quite. <laughs> At the same time, there's so much potential in him. He's bright, quick-witted, he's enterprising. Well, that's one word for it. Honestly, Ed, I, I was chatting to him about the research project he's doing, and once I got him started, he wouldn't stop. You can see the enthusiasm. It just needs guiding. So... So my idea is this. What if my birthday gift to him was in the form of an investment? He'd have to come up with a convincing business proposition, like the one he's working on in college. I demand to see a thoroughly worked out plan, of wait, course. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. You, you know how much I enjoy helping young people. It's why Caroline and I spent time fostering. And if I can provide George with that kickstart he needs, give him direction, something to focus on once he's left college... Sure. Uh, I'd say that's money well spent. How much are we um, talking about? Well, that would depend on George's proposal. But I was thinking maybe £5,000. £5,000? How does that sound to you? Welcome to Lower Loxley Hall. Home of the Pargeter family for centuries. Imagine that. I don't know about you, but the oldest thing in my house is me. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I won't say that. I won't. The hall is Jacobean in origin, although much of what you see today was added at the start of the 18th century. Neil, uh, honestly, don't overthink it. You'll be fine. Hmm? And as much as I'd like to hear your entire spiel, I do need to find Diane and Clifford. Uh, You've not seen them, have you? Uh, yes, um, Cliff's in the scullery and Diane's minding left property. But they're doing the Aberton Wood tour at ten. Actually, Oliver and I have swapped with them. You've what? Oh, it's fine. That's why I'm practising. Does Freddie know? Freddie? Oh, uh, never mind. I'll tell you then. I've just had a call from Maria. Her little boy's come down with a nasty bug. She should be on her way soon, but she's having to wait for her mother-in-law to arrive to take over. Oh, OK, right. Uh, that's M Maria... Our school's coordinator. Schools? You must have spoken to her. Well... Uh, no. So you've not been through the lesson plan for Aberton Wood? Uh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth, I'm confused. I thought Aberton Wood was a retirement village. Retirement village? No. Ah, morning all. Uh, Oliver. How are we doing? Not great. It seems there's been a mix-up. No one knew you'd swapped with Cliff and Diane. Well, not a problem, is it? As I tried to explain on Monday, I did attempt to express my frustrations to Freddie. Oliver, I think you'd best hold your horses. It's all right, Neil. It was my idea. Yes, but uh, I... in the end, I thought the most effective way to make our case to be given more stimulating postings was to do our own tour. Except that Aberton Woods, not a retirement village. Isn't it? No, it's a primary school. No. No, no, no it can't be. It is. It's in Felpersham. But I would have heard of it. It used to be Cotsham Primary. Cotsham? You must have seen it in the news. Mm. There was a long-running scandal about the standard of education. Yeah, I remember. It's been taken over by an academy trust. They rebranded it. So? So we're expecting a coachload of year sixes. And what? We've got to teach them. Oh, blimey. Well, someone has. And at the moment, we haven't even got Maria. 
thought Dad said he cleaned the limo. Yeah, he did. Well, could have fooled me. There's still tinsel and all sorts in there. Right, I'll go grab the vacuum. Oh, uh, Will, mm. Will, have you thought any more about Oliver's offer? I, I know you said that you wanted to think it over. But yeah, I did. Well, well, me and Em, though, we were talking about it last night. And look, if he just wanted to bung George the cash, well, then no. We, we wouldn't think it's a good idea, neither. No, no I but, know. But he says he's going to make George knuckle down and earn it. He's going to help him come up with a proper business plan. But I think it's a great idea. You do? The only reason I didn't bite Oliver's hand off there and then is because he's done so much for us already. Mm. And if anyone's going to be giving George a leg up, it, you know, it ought to be me. Yeah, but you, you know what Oliver's like. He was always telling me how much potential I'd got. Mm. Not that I believed him. That's how he is. No, I know. But if it makes him happy spending his money that way, then... You Which know. is why we're going to tell him yes. No, I just can't believe how generous it is. Five thousand pounds? <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, Oliver's a top bloke. I don't know where we'd be without him. Mm. How's my ride looking? Is that... Bird muck on the windscreen. George. Yeah. And those hubcaps could do with the polish too. Oh, don't give us a chance. We haven't even started yet. Can I test the sound system? I want to make sure I can play music off my phone. <laughs> yeah, sure. You'll need the engine running mind, otherwise it'll drain the battery. Who's got the keys? Oh, no, it's all right. I'll do it. You are the passenger after all. Hey, Dad, hmm? I was thinking we should have the keg in the back, you know, so we can pour ourselves pints on the way into town. Well, you don't reckon the beer might get a bit lively? Well, it's going to go everywhere with all that bumping around. No, it'll be fine. George... This is what you said I could have instead of a party. Oh, I'm supposed to be celebrating. Anyway, it'll be cheaper than buying everyone cans. Why? Yeah, how many mates have you invited? Right, you can test the speakers now. George? Don't worry about it, Dad. They'll all fit. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, that don't sound healthy, does it? Aberton Court, not Aberton Wood. That's the name of the retirement village. Well, there you go, then. I'd not gone completely mad. Well, yes, I suppose I can see where the mix-up occurred. But why didn't you check, Oliver? I took your word for it. I admit I made a mistake. But you can't pin this entirely on me, though. Well, can't I? You were just as unhappy about Freddy putting you on bag duty as I was being sequestered downstairs in the scullery. <sighs> oh, a text from Maria. Well, I bet you wish you were in the scullery now. What does she say? She's stuck in traffic. Traffic? She says there's been an accident just outside Westerbridge. Oh, you're joking. She's no idea when she'll arrive. Elizabeth, uh, would it help if I spoke to Cliff and Diane? No, Oliver, I told you. I've already tried. They're not prepared to swap. They say they need decent warning before leading a school tour. Ah. Besides which, Cliff seems very happy by himself in the scullery. Yeah, of course he is. Well, what about you? Could you take the children? No. Or Freddy? Is he around today? It's his day off, and I have an important meeting with our accountant. I'm afraid you're just going to have to do it. I mean, you've got the key stage two resources. Yes, but... Uh, just start by giving them a quick tour of the house, and then focus on the things they'll be looking for from the worksheet, like the unicorn horn. I beg your pardon? You know, the narwhal tusk? It's in the library, Oliver. Is it? Or the Civil War helmet or Lady Henrietta's chamber pot. Right, uh, OK. And, and then you're pretty much done. They'll have an hour-long art workshop followed by lunch in the crack barn and then they'll round the day off with the treetop walk. Oh, oh, oh I think that's a coach coming now. Right, action stations. But, but, but uh... Oh, just try to do the best you can. We can fix it, Roy. Uh, no, I'm not too sure. Something pretty major's gone. And no way it's going to be back up and running for your birthday. You ain't serious. <laughs> I've promised my mates a swanky ride into town. Look, between me, your mum and Will, we'll get you there. No way. Well, I know it ain't the limo, It's but... worse than that. It's embarrassing. In the limo, there's the partition. They can't see who's at the wheel. So? So, I already know what they're going to say. What's the verdict? How's the engine looking? Uh, not great. Ed's saying you'll have to give us a lift to Borchester. Well, if it can't be fixed... Well, it ain't happening. All I wanted was to prove we ain't just a bunch of hobos. You wouldn't let me show them the farm. All right, all right. No, I'm going to get dropped off by my parents and my uncle. OK. Look, if it's that embarrassing, maybe we could shell out for some taxis? Or... What? I mean, how much would that cost? Well, I ain't being taken by you. Uh, now, listen. I'm not giving them the ammunition. I I'd rather just sack off the whole thing. 
Oliver, you all right? Just having a moment's breather. How are they doing in there? Oh, fine. They've settled down to the worksheets. I'd say it's going pretty well. Excuse me, were you on the same tour? Mm -hmm. I just babbled and blustered my way through it all. I hadn't a clue what to say about the chamber pot. Yeah, I know. Well, it's all right for you. All you're doing is reciting Maria's resources. Yeah, but that's what's so funny. The kids love the fact that you keep tripping over yourself, and it's why I can get away with reading the notes out. You're the class clown, and I'm the boring swat correcting you. Really? Yeah. But why do you think they're laughing so much? I assume they were laughing at me. Uh, well, well, yes, they are, but in a good way. I've just been talking to one of the teachers and she says she's never seen them so engaged. Oh. Well, in that case, maybe it's getting better than I thought. Yes, of course it is. Trust me, Oliver, I've been a father and grandfather to enough boisterous 11-year-olds to know when you've got them on side. Oi, stop it, you. Don't nibble my earphones. George, you up here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just just hang on a second. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Just uh, working on my assignment. Well, about ferrets, is it? You know Gran doesn't like you having them in your room. Uh, Dad... No, uh, it's all right. I won't tell. I wanted to talk to you about your birthday. No, it ain't your fault the limo's broke. If paying for taxis means you have a good birthday... What? Seriously? Just... Don't go promising a ride to absolutely everyone. It'll bankrupt us. I won't. Cheers. Even so, you're not that embarrassed by us, are you? It ain't you, personally. It's just what people say. Well, what do they say? It don't matter. No, come on. I know we haven't got as much money as some of your friends at college. It ain't that. So what is it, then? Why are you so ashamed to be seen with us? Because Ed isn't just my uncle. He's my stepdad and all. My whole life is what people have poked fun at. Asking if my mum couldn't tell the difference between you and Ed. Do I know which one of you is my real dad? Or if you're like a threesome. What, well, ignore them? You know what happened. Yeah, and even I think it's messed up. You do? Mum having two kids by two brothers and they're all living on the same farm. Well, I thought you were fine with it. Well, how come you're fine with it? That's what I don't understand. Well, uh, I weren't for a long time. But then, after a while, I came to terms with the fact me and your mum just weren't meant to be. She humiliated you? I wouldn't say that. No. You wouldn't. That's how weak she made you. Hey, that's a bit harsh. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. I know we're supposed to pretend like it's normal, but it really ain't. Of course my mates take the mick. It's weird. Who can blame them? It's all fine, Elizabeth. Maria is here. What happened? It's all right. She's taking the children now. Yeah, they're going for lunch. Oh, thank heavens for that. Was it a total mess? No, it wasn't a mess at all. No, we did as you suggested and concentrated on the fun objects. <laughs> I'm now quite convinced it's a unicorn horn. Oh, how many times, Oliver, it's the tooth from a narwhal. A narwhal? Yeah, the kind of whale that live in the Arctic Ocean. There's no such things. It belongs to a unicorn. I knew they were real. <laughs> well, it certainly sounds like you've had fun with it. Yeah, we have. <laughs> and I'm led to believe the children enjoyed it too. Well, as with all our school visits, we'll be asking for feedback. Oh, yes, of course. And if it's positive, I assume Freddy will hear. He will. In future, though, Oliver, if you're tempted to amend the rotor, please check with him first. Absolutely. You can go home when you're done with them. Thanks, Elizabeth. Hope your meeting went well, too. And, look, we're sorry for this whole mix-up. We shouldn't have tinkered with the rotor. Well, I suppose there's no harm done in the end. Exactly. And I think we've made our point. If two fuddy-duddies like us can handle that, then we can handle anything. Maybe this is just what was needed to make Freddy take note. Uh, I just can't fathom where Dad would be. 
We had dropped over to Blossom Hill Cottage first thing this morning and his car wasn't there. Stay still, Aziz. I, mean, I thought maybe he'd gone to the farm, but Stella hasn't seen him. Well, that doesn't mean he's gone AWOL, though. No, I know. He might have gone into town or to the market. Well, it's just a bit odd, that's all. I left him a message. <laughs> I leave Justin messages all the time and I'm lucky if he replies. Oh, no, he does reply. Very evasive. Oh, it's at the spot. <laughs> Oh, definitely. You love being groomed, don't you, boy? Mm. <laughs> How about a nice bit of coat polish? Oh, oh yes, please. <laughs> How's Martha? Oh, she's fab. Do you know what she started calling Chris? No. Daddy do that. As in, do that, Daddy. <laughs> oh, I see. Daddy, do that. Mm. I mean, it suits him, too. She's got him wound round her little finger. Oh, bless. <laughs> You know, I know they call it the terrible twos, but I thought it was a lovely age. Mm. <laughs> Can hardly believe James is 50 now. Gosh, that's today, isn't it? It is. I rang him this morning. Mungo had already trodden on the smartwatch Leonia had bought him. Oh. <laughs> oh, Aziz, you really can't get enough. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's OK, boy, it's OK, it's just a car. I didn't hear it coming. No, I think it's electric. Surprise! Justin? What on earth are you doing driving that? Elizabeth, there you are. <laughs> Good to see you. Evening, Jim. So glad you made it. David not here yet? Uh, no, he's running late, apparently. Uh, do you know if he managed to persuade anyone else to come? No, I don't think he did. Sorry, I, I think they were all pretty busy this week. Well, that's quite all right. But I've messaged David, and I made it very clear that he needs to get a move on. Oh, no immediate rush, though, is there? No, I suppose not. <laughs> I've secured us a table, and I've registered us for the quiz. Uh, I've called us Team Détente. Team? Détente. The easing of hostilities. It seemed appropriate for myself and David. I hope he won't mind. Oh, no, I'm sure he won't. Uh, what can I get you to drink? Oh, uh, I'll have a glass of Sauvignon Blanc, please. Ah, uh, oh, uh, seems to be a cue. Um, so, uh, how have you been? Oh, not too bad, although it's been a mad couple of days. Oh, yes? Just firefighting various problems, end-of-term school visits, overzealous volunteers. I'm sure you dealt with them adeptly. <laughs> You'd hope so, wouldn't you, after all these years? There's still always something that comes along to surprise you. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, David! Ah, good evening. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. Where have you been? A cow muck-based emergency. Oh, dear. Don't ask. I won't. <laughs> Sounds like you need a pint of shires. Oh, just the job, Jim. David, I have to say, I shouldn't have tried to force your hand over the charging station oh, campaign. Jim, honestly, it's water under the bridge. However, the person you sold the land to, they still misled you. It would help immeasurably if you could divulge their name. Well, I'm not sure how that would help. Well, it would just save me the time and expense of a land registry search. Um, Maybe we could get the drinks and quiz out of the way first. Yes, good idea. Uh, why don't you both go and sit down? Uh, I'll bring the drinks over. OK. I've already made a start on the picture round. Uh, see what you think, but I'm sure the young man with the beard and luxuriant hair is Stalin. Goodness, the power is so instant. I didn't think it'd be so quick. So you like it then? Of course I like it. I still don't understand why you bought it me, though. Oh, um, well... And don't give me that nonsense about wanting to spoil me. If that were the reason, you'd have got me flowers. Well, I'd do better than that, I hope. You know what I mean? All right, all right, fine. Although I wasn't lying when I said you deserved it. Nothing pleases me more than making you happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? And it's important to support the efforts to tackle climate change. Especially as Damara is an investor in the company behind Ambridge's proposed new EV charging station. I'm sorry. Say that again. My company has a stake in the charging station. Now, no, no, I realise the location's controversial, but just think about it, Lillian. It'll bring more people to the village. That means more people driving past the stables and the bull. Oh, yes, I agree. Hmm. What I don't understand is why you didn't tell me before. Oh, it, was, it, it was difficult. 
I wasn't sure the deal was going to come together, and then when it did, it was around the same time as you were losing Jennifer. You can understand why I didn't want to trouble you. Well, you still might have mentioned something. I know. You're right. Especially if there's mounting opposition from the likes of Jim. Which is why I'm telling you now. Not that I intend to make Damara's involvement public knowledge. You don't? No, it's not as though our name's going to be on the thing. It's a strategic investment. That said, I thought we ought to walk the talk. Or drive it, rather. Mm. An engineer's coming next week to install a charging point on the drive. Oh, right. Look, I suppose we ought to head home before we run out of battery. Oh, goodness, yes. You've trained it, haven't you? You fancy stopping for a nightcap on the way? It's a shame we couldn't talk any of the children into coming. Lily might have been able to convince Jim it was a picture of Zayn Malik, not Stalin. <laughs> How is Lily, by the way? Oh, she was over again this afternoon. I'd started to think that maybe she felt she needed to keep an eye on me. Why would she want to do that? Well, the last time she moved away, that was when I got ill. Oh, sis, come on. Oh, I know, I know. And she's assured me that's not why. So you talked to her about it, then? Yeah. And what'd she say? Well, to begin with, she said staying in touch with what's happening at Lower Loxley helps with her rural estate management course, which is true, to a point. Well, I guess. But then, when I asked if she would prefer to live nearer to university instead of being at the stables... I have to say, I did wonder. Well, it would make sense. That was when she started talking about how most of her fellow students are younger than she is. Oh. How she feels she missed the boat the first time she went to uni. I mean, she didn't get to do a lot of the usual student stuff with Russ. Right. And then, of course, she dropped out. And now she and Russ are no more. Well, basically... She admitted she didn't feel confident enough to live entirely independently. <sighs> Moving in with Josh seemed like a good halfway house. Wow, Lily, not confident. Mm. Who would have thought that? Well, not me. I do think she's genuinely feeling a little unsure of herself, though. Mm. Maybe the stables is the best place for her, then. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Right. Answers submitted. We are now in the hands of the quizzing gods. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, remind me what Kenton said the next one was? Current events. Ah, well, I hope we've all been watching the news. Well, who knows? One of the questions might be about Jim's occupation of the B&B. Ah, well... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, too soon. Uh, no, no. That's fine. We are team détente, after all. We are indeed. I just wish I'd taken more heed of Justin. We might have avoided all this silliness. Hold on. Justin Elliot? What do you mean? Oh, nothing really. It's just that he implied you'd got your sights set on Brookfield. Oh, did he now? Little did I know. Uh, can I get you another drink, Elizabeth? Your glass is empty. Oh, well, if you're sure. Yes. Uh, David, uh, what do you say? Another Shires? Honestly, Justin, I don't know why you're so bothered. I didn't say I was bothered. You're the perfect fit for treasurer of the Eurovision Committee. You'll be like the chap who oversees the scores. Who? Well, you know, the dull one who sits up in a box with headphones on while everyone else is running around in sequins and stretch lame flares. I only turned up at the meeting last week because I thought it was to do with the coronation. Harrison's so keen to have me on board, though. I don't know how to get out of it. Well, then don't. Just throw yourself into it. You'll have an absolute ball. Have you locked the car? Uh, no, not yet. <gasps> Look at... That even the way the lights turn off is fancy. Look, just remember, no mention of Damara's involvement in the charging station. No, I know. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. How is it? Did you have a nice drive? Alice, what are you doing here? I thought you were going home. Oh, I did. I'm still struggling to get hold of Dad. I'm just seeing if he's in the pub. The pub's a good shout. Let's check if he's inside. I could... Kick myself. Of course it was Boris Becker. It doesn't matter. We still wouldn't have won. <sighs> well, I think we were served very poorly by the quality of the images in the picture round. Uh, who is this Zayn Malik chap, anyway? Oh, excuse me, Jim, before you sit down. Uh, Elizabeth, you're not leaving, are you? No, no. I thought I'd just go and congratulate the Snell's Angels on their victory. Oh. In any case, after the number of pints you've had, I want to make sure you get home. What do you mean? Uh, what does she uh, mean? Uh, I've no idea. Here's to third place. Yep, indeed. Cheers. Cheers. Now, guess who I found myself standing next to at the bar? Uh, who? 
Justin. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't resume his questions regarding my plans to stop the charging station. You don't really think he's got something to do with it, do you? Oh, I don't know. It's possible. I've never trusted him. No. And now it turns out he's been slipping you information. Well, it was more of a, you know, general warning, really. Oh, it doesn't matter. The man clearly has a hidden agenda. <laughs> But how can we be sure? Well, as I mentioned before, investigating the person who acquired the land from you would be a good start. They might have purchased it for Justin so as to keep you in the dark. But, well, I understand if you're uncomfortable sharing that information. No, 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 no. no. If you think it'd help. The name was Marcus Bonneville. Marcus Bonneville? Mm. Wonderful. Isn't it better when we work together? It looks as though we've got some detective work to do. That's okay. I was just getting a bit worried, that's all. You hadn't replied to my recent messages. I said you hadn't... Re uh, never mind. As long as you're all right. Yep. Yeah? Okay, Dad. Bye. Well, where is he? Oh, he didn't say. It sounded like he was in a bar or a restaurant. Really? Well, at least he picked up this time. You'll be able to sleep easy tonight. Mm. Can I interest you in a salted cashew? Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to head home. All right, darling. Have a good night. Yeah. Mwah. Thanks. Night, Justin. Night. Well, that's a relief. You weren't worried, were you? Well, I wasn't, no, but you could tell Alice was getting concerned. You'd think Brian might have let someone know where he'd be all day. Mm, unless, of course... Um... Unless, of course, what? No, unless Brian's up to his old tricks. I've heard all the stories. Well, maybe he just doesn't want anyone to know. Sure you don't need another bag, Brian? No, no, no. I think I should manage. <clears throat> I've only got the eggs and the oil left to pack. Well, it's good to see you out and about. Uh, that'll be uh, £23.86, and pence, please. Oh, right, eh? Cash or card? I'll pay by card. Just tap when you're ready. I was wondering, Brian, uh, you're well connected with the business community. You don't happen to know someone called Marcus Bonneville? No, sorry. Um, what about... Asif Morani. Is that a name you've come across? No, I don't think so. Why? why? I mean, who are they? I don't know either. That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, thanks anyway, and mind how you go. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. You don't have paprika, do you? I, I couldn't find any. Oh, well, we should have. Uh, wait there a moment. I'll check out the back. Dad! Alice! <gasps> Morning, darling. So you got home safely, then? How do you mean? From wherever you were last night. Yes, yes, I did, yes. I'm so sorry, darling, but I'm in a bit of a rush. Dad. You're OK, aren't you? you yes, of course, I'm good, fine. Good, good. Well, I'll speak to you soon. No, then. but hold on. I'm just... afraid I can't stop. Dad, wait. Oh, ordinary or smoked paprika. Uh, oh, where's he gone? Are you going to put the farm trail signs up today? Um, I hadn't planned to. So when are you going to? It needs to be done soon. It will be, I promise. And what about the cow? What cow? The wooden one Bert made for visitors to have a go at milking on it. And leave putting out in the yard. Oh, right. That's my job, is it? It's why I've written on the whiteboard. OK, sorry, I hadn't realised. That's all for me, then. Don't look so dismayed, Tom. The rest of us are going to have to work twice as hard on Monday now that you and Natasha aren't going to be here. I know. It's only fair you do a bit extra beforehand. A bit extra? Tom! That's fine, that's fine. Pass us the signs, I'll put them up now. They're on the table in front of you. Oh. So they are. Look, I don't mean to be grouchy. It's just it's such an important day for us. What with unveiling the viewing window and launching the Edible Forest Garden, it's a whole new direction for Bridge Farm. Yes. Trying to connect the customers with the food more, letting them see why organic is so much better. I know. At least we've got George helping out for a couple of days. Yeah. And I'm just as disappointed as the rest of you I'm not going to be here. Kind of amazing. You've got two massive offers in the space of one week. Isn't it? Testimony to how photogenic the girls are, I suppose. Right, I'll crack on. Tom, it's not the Schaeford Bass job, is it? No, what are you talking about? We said no to that. Did you? And you've been so vague about this new job. What's there to say? You tell me. Ellen, come on. Do you want me to get on with your list or not? All right, where is it? The shoot? It's in London. Huh. 
Natasha said it was in Manchester. Did she? Oh, yes, that's right. Stupid me, it is. It's in Manchester. Tom, give it up. I was getting confused. Natasha didn't tell me where the shoot was. I just said that because I could tell you were lying. But... You have taken the Schaefer Bar's job, haven't you? Helen, listen. How could you? After everything you said about not advertising for an agrochemical giant... It's not them. Just leave it, will you? But you... I'll see you later. I've got jobs to do. No, Jim, it's fine. Come on in. Take a seat. Thank you, David. I've been on my feet all morning. It's actually excellent timing. I have just made a discovery. Oh, yes. Mm. Me too. Oh, really? You first, though. No, 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 please, after you. Well, if you're certain. Uh, fortunately for us, Marcus Bonneville is a rather unusual name. The first result the internet threw up revealed he's the director of... Chaff and Webster Property Limited. You looked him up too? <laughs> But uh, that is about all I found out, though. They don't seem to have a website or anything, just a listing at Company's House. Did you look at the other names on there, though? No. Well, one of his fellow directors is a man called Asif Murani, and when I looked him up, I discovered he also works for a company called Cell Charge UK, who... Wouldn't you know it? Specialise in building... Charging stations. Precisely. Ah. So much for Mr Bonneville wanting the land to graze ponies on. But at least we can be sure you were definitely lied to. Admittedly, it doesn't get us any closer to proving that Justin's involved. Well... Unless you've turned up something that does. I might just have done. It's not quite a smoking gun, but... Well, hang on, let me just turn my laptop up. I thought I'd have a poke around Damara Capital's website, see if there was any mention of charging stations. Ah! At first, I didn't find anything, but then, buried deep in the media section, I discovered you can download their annual report, and that's where I found it. this. Have a read. Oh, right. Where from? Second paragraph. Uh, uh, any future... Strategy must recognise the opportunities inherent in the move away from fossil fuels, especially with regard to the coming electric vehicle revolution. Keep reading. We see investment in rural charging infrastructure as potentially a key element of our approach going forward. How about that? Well done, David. So... Now we know it's something Justin's interested in. We just need to link Damara Capital with... Uh, what's the name of the company again? Cell Charge UK. Mm. Yes. But how? Alice, honestly, I told you. I'm fine. Well, so let me come in then, just for a minute. Oh, all right, if you're so determined. Thank you. I'm curious about what you've been up to. Why? I don't need to tell you my every whereabouts, do I? No, but you're being very mysterious. No, I'm not. You are a bit. Well, I'm allowed my own life, aren't I? What do you think I was going to do? Just sit around the house? Dad, you're not... What? Nothing. Just that if if you were, even though it's kind of queer... No, no, I, no. I, I'd do my best to understand. I had enough of all that from Debbie last week. Of course I'm not seeing anyone. Uh, good. I didn't think you were. And you won't tell us what you're doing. Well, it's really nothing for you to worry about. Well, what isn't? Look, Dad, whatever it is, you can be honest about it. What's going on? Oh, fantastic. That's just perfect. Is something on fire? Well, is it ringing? Yes. So what are you going to say? Are you going to ask about Damara straight out? No, no. But... Shh, shh, shh. shh. Yes. Good afternoon. Is this the head office for Cell Charge UK? Oh, marvellous. May I speak to Mr Mirani? It's his colleague, Justin Elliott, calling. <laughs> oh, he isn't. That's a shame. Fine, just hang up. I don't suppose you could transfer me to his mobile. It's quite urgent that I speak to him. You'll be helping no end. Oh, thank you. It really is appreciated. Are they doing it? Yes, they're transferring me now. Oh. Well? Oh, uh, uh, I'm terribly sorry. I, I think I've been put through to the wrong number. So? Was it him? It was him. 
And? It proves everything. Why? What did he say? He said, hello, Justin. Hello, Justin. Exactly, just that. Oh. It sounded as though they'd known each other for years. Right. All those questions in the shop. Pretending he was simply making conversation. That man's been playing me for a fool. And you as well. Last week's events needn't have happened if he'd had the decency to come clean. Oh. So, what are we going to do now, then? Hold a protest outside the Dower House? No, 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 no. There's nothing to be gained from an immediate confrontation. As long as Justin doesn't know that we know, then we hold an advantage. Mm. Play him at his own game, you mean? Yes, precisely. I'd say that's pretty unsalvageable. Not necessarily. It's only burnt on one side. No, no. Garlic butter had started leaking anyway. But what are you doing? The only place this chicken cave belongs no, no, is no, in no. the bin. Oh, Dad, don't. I made a much better job of it yesterday. Yesterday? What do you mean? Uh, I suppose I might as well tell you. Um, I was at a cookery school. A cookery school? I don't smoke. No, I'm not. <laughs> but after making that meal for Roy and Kirsty, you remember, mm -hmm. I... I thought I could benefit from mastering a few basic skills. Well, but why keep it a secret? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I was self-conscious. It was the first time I've really done anything by myself since your mother died. I didn't want lots of attention. Oh, Dad. I mean, after all, Jenny got rustled up a chicken kiev in her sleep. Well, that's not the point. Did you enjoy yourself? I did, actually. It was rather nice being around new people, no one knowing I was a widower. In the evening, we all sat down together and ate what we'd prepared. Ah, oh, so that's what I could hear. <laughs> As I say, my Kievs were much better. Well, that one still looks pretty professional to me. I'd love you to cook me one. <laughs> now, in fact, why don't we do Sunday lunch? We could ask Adam and Kate and see if they're free. Alice. Look, don't worry, we'll muck in if you need us to. It'll be like a mini housewarming. No, I'm really not sure. Oh, come on, Dad. It's what Mum would have done. Yes, you would. Uh, yeah, and OK. You're not the cook she was, but you know, we are your family. We'll be impressed whatever you do. What do you say? Well, all right. <laughs> if you think you can stomach it, <laughs> Sunday lunch it is. Tom! Here we go. It's no use running away. We need to talk. I'm not running away. I'm putting up the signs like you asked. I presume this is the one you wanted by the Angus's? And there's no point lying about the chauffeur bath job either. You can't do it, Tom. I'm sure they can find someone else to hawk their chemicals for them. That's not what we're doing. Oh, so you're admitting it then? Yes, fine. We are. But we're doing it for Selena Nova's <laughs> future. To give them a nest egg, something to start out with. What future? Uh, well, trashed by the pesticides? As if it's going to make the slightest bit of difference. Oh, right. In that case, why are we doing anything? Might as well... Give up? That's not what I meant. You are betraying everything this farm stands for. Everything Mum and Dad has worked to build for so many years. No! What we've worked to build. And that's what's going to make a difference to the world. What we do here on the farm. And if, while we're at it, we get to take some money off an evil corporation... So you're Robin Hood now? I'm just saying there's no point cutting off our nose to spite our face. Some of us call it sticking to our principles. <sighs> You're the one who was getting misty-eyed about how money's not everything. I know I was. So what happened? That was before we found out exactly how much it was. You can act all holier than thou, Helen, but you'd do the same if it was for Jack and Henry. I know you would. No, I wouldn't. I would not be commodifying my children to begin with. Oh, right, I see. What do you think Mum and Dad are going to say? I know what they'll say. Are you going to tell them? Tom. Because it won't stop us. It'll just cause lots of upset, lots of nasty arguments. And I'd say Dad, in particular, has had enough heartache that recently. That is not fair. This is your decision. No, it's yours. You can think whatever you like about mine and Natasha's motivation, but we are taking this job. As for Mum and Dad finding out, that's up to you. <laughs>